Hey gang, welcome back to the Will and Keith Show, otherwise known as Five Reviews in Five Minutes. Is that what it's called? That's what it's called, right? Something like that. Something like called five, and five, five. five and Five. Five and Five. Five and Five. Five Reviews in Five Minutes. All right, first up we have the Waterworks Lamson Guru, the new Guru S, which has been out for a little while, uh, maybe a year, but uh, we just wanted to highlight it. Um, we really dig this reel. Do you like this reel? I dig that reel. And yeah. I dig it in that color. That color is really We both really like nice it quite color. a bit. Um, it is an extremely light reel. Uh, it's great for trout. I, I'm not crazy about it on bigger rods, like spay rods and stuff like that. I feel like it's just a little light. Yep. But boy, any that. any trout rod or switch oh, rod. Oh, this is my creaky stuff, like, you know, all your little three, four, five weight stuff. Ooh, and they've got like different that. colors too. They've got like this with a blue. Waterworks Lampson Guru S, super sweet uh, trout reel from Lampson. Something we can both agree on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, quick. Uh, our next item up is a thermometer. Important. Got to have one this year. Got to have. We we really had to throw important. it in there because you got to have it this year. You got to test those water temps. Make sure you're not fishing in water over 68 degrees for trout. Mm -hmm. Everyone should have one of these dangling off their uh, their tackle these days. Put it on a retractor. Put it on something, a line or cord. You just drop it in the river. It's good to don't good to... just look at the the water flow temperatures. That's not good enough. If you don't want to kill fish this year, this is the way to go. That's the way to go. You agree? I do. I agree too. We agree again. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> okay, next up, we've got some <laughs> we've got some beverage bottles here. Some shameless self promotion. Co hey now, we've got some coffee and water bottles. This is a nice big bottle. It's a good size. Uh, and oh, look at that. They say Ashland Flush Up right mm -hmm. on the front. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's the worst part of it. <laughs> no, these are great. Uh, I really like the top closure. The 50 50 bottles are super cool. I just got a new motorcycle. This is getting strapped onto it. He's talking um, about the motorcycle like every second. So if you come in, you're going to be talking about, about it, motorcycles. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, really nice top, easy to deal with. Um, same on this, I like this. You can clip it with a carabiner, put it on anything, easy to carry, easy to turn off and on. 50-50 Ashland Fly Shop bottles uh, in store. Uh, now, it's the first time we've done these. We're pretty stoked about it. Yeah, I like them. Do you like it? I do like them. We like it. I like we it. like it again. Okay, next up, we have some bobbers, indicators. Mm. What? Nothing. Okay, we all use indicators at some point in the year. Here they are, our two favorites, thingamabobbers, the old mainstay. You know, they're not that hard to use. There's a million ways to rig them. Um, you can ring them with rubber bands so they don't muss up your leader. You can slide them up and down. You can just pinch it and put, pull it through. It does muck your leader up a little bit, but not too bad. And then the reinvented indicator the airlock, which has a slight a little a little notch where you lay your leader in, and then a little screw that screws in. I'm gonna say it. if you got to airlock. If you got to go that way, go that way. I will say you will notice these are a little heavier. They're a little more thuddy or heavier, but they are uh, very convenient. Um, we do have some extra little screws um, if you lose that. These stuff, don't kink your leader as much. They don't kink your but... leader as much. Yeah, so. Anyway, do we if, like we like them? We both are kind of. If you gotta do it. Last but not least, we have the Sims boat bag, uh, redesigned for 2021. I really, really like this. I really like the size of this bag. For a consumer, this is excellent. We did have a very well-known local guide came in yesterday and was like. What, what can I what can I put in there? Uh, my my, uh, my shaving kit and my uh, this and that. Well, obviously guides need to put a few more things in there. Oh, look at that! Oh, you can put all this stuff in there. This is for you, our well-known local guide. What can we put in there? Uh, oh, not that one. <laughs> real world, uh, real real world fitting of things in there. Yes. 
Uh, it's nice uh, concave, it fits over the top. This and this is uh, meant so that you can kind of see what, what goes in there and stuff. Uh, so this is like your tippets and things you need to get in and out of really quickly. You can change the partitions around. It's all Velcroed in. Um, you know, things you can put on the side, latch to the side. This latch is a little, you know, we get a little weird, but it really does work. It's, not, it's not popping off there unless you pull. Yeah, so you don't have to always grab it by the strap. You can grab it by the handle, which is nice. I do like this bag. I hate to agree with you, but yeah. He hates to agree with me. He always hates to agree with me. About well, we've just almost about agreed on everything. That's kind of we scary. have. That I know is it really is a little weird. scary. I think we didn't yeah. we didn't look as close to the items as maybe we should have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next time we'll look closer and find some things we can disagree on. They might be outside of the fly fishing category, but we will we will see what we can come up with because we disagree on a bit. <laughs> Okay, hey, thanks so much for joining us. This uh, short little segment, five and five, five reviews in five minutes with Will and Keith from the Ashland Fly Shop.